Welcome to Takeshi's Castle. Half an hour of oriental mayhem and disaster. We're still not really sure what it's all about. We're still not really sure why. But we know it's right here, right now, and right peculiar. Coming up on this show, we got the honeycomb maze. Hey, he took a dive. We got the skipping stones. <laughs> Another dive. We've got Quake. That's more of a belly flop. And the sumo rings, which is just belly. General Lee, that's him, has gathered 100 kamikaze contestants from all over the world. They're about to be whittled down as they try to cross a series of painful and ridiculous obstacles set by the fiendish Count Takeshi in the hope that some will make it through the tube and pop out the other side in front of the castle. There, hey, we might just get another winner. First up, it's Bite the Bun. A silly game, really. One hundred contestants. Only 88 buns, so you do the maths. Some will be going out at this very, very early stage. They're impeded by not being able to use their hands trapped in those rubber rings. There they are, through to the next round. I'm not sure if they're winners or losers. Oh, we dropped it! Get down on your knees in the mud, lad! Jumping and jumping. It's a battle between East and West, this. Come on, lad, get it down your neck! Whoa. <laughs> oh, there you go, oh, no! Oh, can she do it? See that tongue? He's eating his. You're not allowed to eat it. You've got to carry it through the gate to get through to the next round. Oh, so close, but yet so far. Oh, well done. Team play there, and they're through. He's trying to use his hands. That's cheating, sir. For the replay. Just look at the difference in size. It's like an outtake from Lord of the Rings. 88 go through. It's a slip disc. There they go then. 88 contestants. What they have to do is climb the wall, avoiding the water cannon. They have a disc on their head, a ring which they have to hide. If their ring gets shattered, they're out of the competition. There's the Emerald Guard, aiming their weapons at the ring on the helmet. Oh, good clean fun. What have they come as? Oh, he's lost his ring. Emerald Guard's very, very accurate. Highly trained. There's a straggler. For the replay, got it all wrong. Standing upright is not the way to do it. The lad's out. 78 though, go through to the honeycomb maze. Let's go! Here we have one of our American cousins. Likes a bit of face paint. Is he any good at the game? He's bad to the bone. Is he bad at the honeycomb maze? Oh, he's moving swiftly along! <laughs> Wrong door. In the drink and out of the competition. Another yank. Now the guards are not central like they normally are. They're hiding right by the end doors. He nearly made it through. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no, he was stopped and he's out. Better off, really. 
Here's a Gallic girl offering some Gallic goodness. Be careful of that. Certainly not snail's pace. But going nowhere fast. Come on, you can do it. No, no, wrong door, wrong door. Out of the game. Goodbye. Buongiorno. Our Italian friend. How can our continental cousins do? Oh, right the way through, but through the wrong door. And out of the game. Long live the USA. How long will he stay in the honeycomb maze on dry land? Oh, he's drawn them into the same maze. Well done, well done. Oh, he's through. He might be on his hands and knees, but he's through to the next round. Bang goes the dignity. <laughs> he's going to get through, is he? Let's see. But our ghouls have to think about that. He's trapped behind the door. He's in real trouble here. Get him the life squeezed out of him. He's given up. He's begging to be thrown in the water now. Please, please, throw me in the drink. Hanging on for grim life, but there you go. You're out of the competition, mate. Bye-bye. Off to the happy farm. Don't ask me about that flag. Speedy competitor, but he made the wrong choice. <laughs> Our American friend falls over before it's even started. Does she stand any chance in the honeycomb maze? She's moving very cautiously, very slowly, nice and steady. Oh! She was through and then pulled back. Oh, and then whacked in the head with a door. Doesn't seem fair, really. And there she is, at the mercy of the keepers of the maze. Screaming, let me in, let me in. No, you're out. For the replay, he was doing so well. Oh, unlucky lad, back on the bus. Only 69, my favourite number, through to Skipping Stones. Let's go! Object. Fairly simple. Over the stones, to the other side. Avoid going in the drink. Oh. Or snapping your leg in half like that. Oh! There's a Canadian! A big friendly race. Oh dear! Oh, he's getting there, he's getting... Oh, no! Bango the ribs. <laughs> Ambulance for Mr. Canada. Doesn't look so happy. Let's see if the Americans can do any better. Oh! Well, it was a spectacular crash. In the drink and out the competition, mate. New Zealand. How did they do? The answer is... Badly. You can't show your knickers like that. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, he didn't have smack his shins there. Is it a he? Is it a she? Answers on a postcard, please. Oh, he falls right at the beginning. Oh no, that's cheating. That's cheating. That is cheating. Oh well. Got what he deserved in the end. Out of the game. Let's see how the girl can do. She's doing well. Oh! Took a surprising leap there. Looked like it hurts as well. All right, mate, calm down, calm down. Take it easy, take it easy. That was suicidal and stupid. Oh, very green beret. Very rapid. Doing well. Oh! Like Maradona through a defence. Excellent. The replay has to be the double shin smasher. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Out. For the remaining 53, we've got large potatoes and a large ring. Psycho mother wigs in a rubber house. 
full on snoggin with a large pink whale. Go on. And the total inability to keep your balance. Who needs drugs when you've got Takeshi's castle? Welcome back to the Keshi's Castle. We're in Japan, so hey, let's play sumo. Bring it on. He pulls a yellow ball. He gets to fight. The yellow fighter. Large yellow man in a bright yellow nappy. He's trying to get his hand down his pants there. Hanging on both of them, fighting. I think the man in the white stole it. Yeah, the yellow guy, he's gone. He was about as hard as custard. She gets a green ball. I don't think she wanted that one. That means animal. It's got a terrible dandruff animal. Look at that. Looks like it's going to be an easy contest. Animal crouching away, shows us behind. Tremendous sense of fun, the big lad. But when it comes down to the major business of sumo, he's a master. Toying with her like a cat toys with a mouse. But he will pounce. She will exit the arena. Oh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> It's not fair, really, the size difference. The animal goes through, of course. <laughs> but he doesn't go through, he just protects his honor. Oh, blue! He gets the blue ball, he gets spud. He just threw some salt at him. Let's see if he can turn him into chips. Oh, yes, he has! Spud has been mashed! <laughs> The yellow ball, the big yellow lad, no you can't eat it, the big yellow lad here, she seemed a lot taller. Yes, wants to grab him love, throw him out, this is dancing not fighting. for the overhead chuck. Can he get underneath that arm and lift it off the ground? Oh! Crafty! I think she put his shoulder out and she's through! The yellow lad. Not doing well in this competition. Who let Grandad play? How did he get through skipping stones? Look at the size of this lad. He's ready for sumo. He's plump, rotund, portly, comfortably round. This man is a euphemism for obesity. He's so big his shadow could break your foot. His favourite hobby is to go downtown and burn out all the escalators. But he's burnt out there. He was taller laying down. For the replay. Well, he's a pick. Another reason why Animal cannot return to his own country. 41 go through to play Quake. Don't ask me. I do not understand the rules of this game. Well, the rules are fairly easy. You have to stay on your cushion while the building moves. What I don't understand is why. And why the wings? Answers on a postcard, help us out here. Oh, they look like they're enjoying it though. Oh, belly flop! <laughs> Two go through though, well done lads. Europeans, Americans, take the stations. Let's rock and roll. Oh, one goes straight away. Oh, another one's gone. Oh, 
lady that has shown great balance. Well done. Another two go through. It looks like you want to be on those outside cushions. They're the, they're the cushions to choose. Seems to be much more difficult if you're at the back or in the middle. Let's see if my theory is correct. The back go. Oh no, I'm talking rubbish as usual. In the middle. That's where the place to be is. She's enjoying it. She rides a lot of donkeys at home. The replay. Showing off is never clever. Silly boy. 31 left to play the next game, which is Wipeout. <laughs> Love this game. Rules are simple. Onto the surfboard. Over the whale. Onto the platform. Onto the surfboard. Over the whale. Onto the ledge. Over the whale, not through the whale in the drink. Well, he likes water. He's in the Navy. Let's go! Let's go! I can do it! Go on then! Prove it! Put your money where that big mouth is! Oh, he's doing well! <laughs> that was the kiss of death to him! Alright, Giza! Good eye! Over the whale, well done! Kept his balance onto the ledge. Quickly over the ledge now. Quickly, quickly. Oh! Didn't like that. Wasn't happy. Yeah, come on. We know you can do it. Here he goes. Okay. Balance is all right. Oh, jumps, lands on his backside, but still in the game. Onto the ledge. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Come on, come on, come on. Someone just flashed their knickers. Poker Hunter showing off her underwear. You're gone, mate. Let's go surfing now. Yeah, let's go surfing, surfer boy. Okay. Oh, very lucky there. He went through the whale. Quick over this ledge. And again, he's there. He's doing well. He's on the ledge. He's through. Confidence well founded from the American. Okay. Big boogie, baby, boogie. Oh dear, boogie right into the bog. You're gone. Very weak, very timid, very meek. Oh dear, it's right through the whale. <laughs> Takes the head with her. Over the ledge, come on now, lad. Come on, you can do it. Oh no! He left it too late! You've got to go quickly over that ledge. People start holding back, resting on their laurels, congratulating themselves on getting that far, and then they miss the bus. Here he is, good balance. <laughs> Terrible jumping, though. If he was an athlete, he wouldn't be a high jumper. He'd be more of a gymnast. Or a swimmer. The replay. Look at this. He tried to mount the poor creature. Only 21 go through to play bridge ball. Brilliant game, this. Object is simple. You've got to go over the Millennium Bridge as it wobbles. You've got to catch a golden ball and then get to the other side whilst avoiding cannon fire from the extremely accurate Emerald Guard. Oh! Our Emerald Guard, a bit like Rainbow Warriors in this competition. Oh, mate, mate. Oh, he clings on with his legs. Can he get back up? He's dropped the golden ball, but he can get another. Come on, lad. Put your back into it. 
There's the Rainbow Warriors there. Come on, lad. His sense of balance is awful. His strength was good, though. Not good enough to stop him going out of the game, though. <laughs> He brought his own counterweight there, in the terms of a belly, but it didn't work. Let's see what our Canadian cousin can do. Catches it well, but now, can he avoid the cannon fire? Can he withstand the physical assault? He's doing well, the lad. Kiss of death! I should have shut me mouth! He's out of the game! Back to the happy farm! Oh! He caught that one where he shouldn't have caught that one! No wonder he's walking that funny! Oh, right in the face! Oh! That was suicide, he thought. I'm not taking any more of this. I want to go home anyway. Oh, right in the face. Good idea. Moving gracefully across that bridge. That's the way to do it. Made it look easy. Good idea, the ball up the jumper. The replay, best bang of the game, two broken ribs, <laughs> it's time for the final showdown, one, two, three, four, only four contestants through to storm Takeshi's castle, the Emerald Guard will be protecting, of course. There they are. In their dinky dodgems, trying to avoid the Emerald Guard. will be firing water cannon at those rings on the dinky dodgems. If they can protect their ring, they have a chance of going through. That one's gone. Bye-bye, baby. Goodbye, baby blue. And that one's gone as well. Bye-bye. Just one ring left. No, that one's gone too. It's all over. International Takeshi's Castle provides no winners. But maybe next time. So join me, Craig Charles, and the rest of us at Takeshi's Castle. Next time, we'll have a winner. Promise.